Welcome everybody to the part two of our podcast. I don't know exactly what happened on the last one, but I got the graphs right now. So let's go ahead and complete this question number three, which we were not able to do before. So in this particular instance, we're working with some generic function that's graphed. Um, that is a graph of f of x, and we're gonna do a new graph um, and two different ones here. One that says two times f of x minus one and the other one negative f of one half x minus three. Now the graph is already provided for us unlike the example that's coming up where you have to provide the parent function graph as well. So for this one what I want to do is kind of document what I'm going to be doing first with each of my graphs. So again working with PEMDAS start inside the parentheses the first thing I see is an x minus one that means I'm going to be going to the right one so I'm writing out a list of what I'm gonna do. And then the two out in the front, because it's applied to the f of x, that means it's applied to the y value, that is gonna be a vertical stretch by a factor of two. So those are the two things that I'm gonna do here. Now as I do them, I'm gonna like identify a couple of points that I'm gonna to use to do that. Um, for certain, I wanna use highs and lows or turning points. So this point and this point, those would be good ones to use. I kind of like this one because it's a nice x-intercept, this one as well. And then kind of in looking at what the graphs are, in order to complete the graph, the graph is really made up of three separate lines. And in order to graph a line, you're going to need two points on each line. So I've got these two points here for one line, two more points for the next segment, and then two points for the third. I think I'm going to have plenty to go ahead and produce that graph. So here goes. I'm going to take each of those points, and I'm going to switch colors so we can see it here. Um, I'm going to switch color and then I'm going to take each of those points and do exactly what it says here. So for the point, I'm going to put my pen right on top of that first point. I'm going to go to the right one. That's going to move me here and then I'm going to vertically stretch it by two. Now currently the value is at zero. So when I stretch it by two, it's still going to still be zero. So I'll get a point that's right here. The next point, I always go from left to right. I'm going to shift this point. This is that lower peak to the right one. And then currently it's at negative two. When I stretch it by two, that's a multiplication by two, then I'll put it at negative four, and that'll put me right here. This is my next point, the point at the peak. I'm gonna to go to the right one on that, vertically stretch that by two. That's currently at two. It'll become four when you multiply it by two. That'll be here. And then the last one is at the final x-intercept. When you go to the right one on that, stretch it by 2. It's at 0, so it's going to stretch by 2. It'll still be at 0. So those are the four points. So the first segment is going to look like this. The next segment is going to look like this. And then the final segment will look like this. And that will be the graph. And you can certainly see that it is to the right, and it is, in fact, stretched. Um, and so that's that final graph. Now the next one is a little trickier. I think anytime you gotta do something with the X's, it's a little trickier. So the first thing I notice as I'm listing out what I'm gonna do here is the one half on the X. Now since it's applied to the X, that's gonna be a horizontal or X kind of describer. Um, this is gonna happen on the horizontal. And horizontal things are kind of always opposite what you think. So for example, in the previous question, it was an X minus one. You'd think we're gonna to go to the left and yet we go to the right. This is a horizontal multiplied by a half. You'd think it's gonna compress by a half, but actually it's the opposite. It's going to stretch by a half. So this is gonna be a horizontal stretch. I wrote by a half, but it's really by two. In other words, it's gonna go out twice as far. That's what that one half is gonna do. That's a little bit different. The next thing in the order of operations, so we did the parentheses, is this negative out front. That's applied to the F, which is the Y value. So that's going to be a reflection for the Y values. That means the top's gonna to become the bottom and the bottom's gonna become the top. In other words, a reflection over the X axis. And then the final thing is at minus three, and that's of course at the end of the function, so that's gonna end up being a down three. Now I'm gonna use the same points here that I used on the previous example. I like this one and this one, this one and this one. That's enough points to get an idea of the graph. If you want any other ones, this one might be a good one to use if you wanna do more graphs or whatever. So switching colors here. I am going to now horizontally stretch by two, which means I am going to go to that, I'm not going to use that one I just added. I'm going to go to that first one on the x-axis. I'm going to put my pen there. That is currently three away from the y-axis. To stretch it, it's going to be six away from the y-axis. To stretch it by two, that's going to put me right here where my little red dot is. 
and then I'm going to reflect it over the x-axis. It's on the x-axis, so that's not going to change anything. And then down three. One, two, three. That's going to be that first point. All right, next one is that lower peak. Currently, it is at negative two. I'm going to stretch it horizontally by two, which will put it at negative four. It goes out twice as far. Then I'm going to reflect it over the x-axis. It's two above or two below the x-axis. It's going to go to two above the x-axis. And then from there, down three. One, two, three. Three. I like to have this written out down here because it's sort of like my recipe and I follow it every single time. So this next one is the higher peak. And I'm going to go horizontally by 2. Right now it's at negative 1. It's going to go to negative 2 when you multiply that by 2. You're going to reflect it over the x-axis. It's 2 above. That's going to go to 2 below. And then down 3 from there. 1, 2, 3. That's right here. One more time, guys. Last point right here. Horizontally stretch by two, this will be tricky because I'm going to go off the graph again. It's currently at three, it's going to go all the way out to six. And then it's going to reflect over the x axis, which again is not going to change it. And then down three, one, two, three, that's going to take me right here. All right, and then of course we know the shape, so now I'm just going to connect those dots, and the graph's going to go something like this. All right, so that was the now official end of the podcast after completing part two and getting those graphs right. So again, good luck on your test, everybody.